Eighty. Action. All right. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All meeting to order at 6 p.m. Leave the roll call, please. Michael Cashman. Present. Thomas Wood. Here. Robert Heber? Here. Charles Kostick? Here. David Isabella? Here. James Coffey? Here. And I, Kevin Colucci? <coughs> Resolution 233, approve the minutes of the previous meeting. Resolved that the minutes of October 13th and October 20th of 2022 be approved and the reading of the minutes be dispensed with. Is there a motion? Mm -hmm. Wood? Is there a second? Second. Kostick? Is there any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Resolution carries. Is there anyone seeking to provide public comment this evening? Seeing none, we we'll move forward to resolution 234, the abstract 11B-22. Resolved that the abstract of audited claims number 11B-22 for $1,249,613.32, abstract 11B-22 prepaid for the amount of $196,819.44. Be received as reviewed by the audit committee, and the supervisor is hereby authorized to pay said abstract. Is there a motion? So moved. Isabella? Is there a second? Second. Ebert? Any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Resolution just carry. Resolution uh, 235, close out money market account. Whereas the finance manager has determined that the money market account is no longer needed, and whereas in order to improve efficiency and increase return on funds, therefore be it resolved that the town board does hereby authorize the town supervisor to close out one the money market. And it is further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager. Is there a motion? So moved. Caustic, is there a second? Second. Wood? Discussion? Seeing none. I'm going to get asked for a roll call on this one. Thomas Wood? Yes. Robert Hebert? Yes. Charles Costick? Yes. David Zavella? Yes. Michael Cashman? Yes. Resolution carries. Thank you. Resolution 236, 2022, <coughs> budget amendment. Whereas the town may need to amend the 2022 budget to reflect changes in revenues and expenditures during the year. And Whereas the budget amendments will be offset from existing fund balance or additional revenues, therefore be resolved that the town board of the town of Plattsburgh authorize the following budget amendment as attached, and be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager. Is there a motion? So moved. Hebert. Is there a second? Second. Constant. Is there any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Resolution does carry. Resolution 237, change order number one, Cliff Haven Sewer Lining. Whereas the Town of Plattsburgh Water and Wastewater Department went out to bid and awarded the Cliff Haven Sewer Lining Project, resolution number 022-113, as part of an ongoing capital improvement plan. Thank you, Barb. Whereas there is a need to change the manhole lining method to an epoxy liner system, in addition to extending the project completion date to December 31st of 2022, and where National Water Main Cleaning <coughs> Company has submitted a pricing decrease in the amount of $56,725. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board does hereby authorize the supervisor to execute said change order number one, and be further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager, water wastewater director, the Birch Engineering, and National Water Main Cleaning Company. Is there a motion? So moved. Caustic. Is there a second? Second. Wood? Uh, I would just add for discussion, uh, just to further uh, emphasize this, uh, this had to be a recalibration uh, due to some supply and et cetera, um, but the benefit, even though it's extending the project, uh, is the price decrease. Okay. So it really became cost a, a cost savings win situation. So they, they found that this process versus the other process Yes. Right. For a greater area than what they had anticipated. Yes. 
so the materials that, weren't available for that. Uh, yeah, and the bag method, this is yeah, yeah. just equally as good and less, less expensive. Yeah, so uh, some, sometimes uh, you went out and considered it. So it's a very rare, as far as I know. Okay, change orders. Yeah. We'll take a decrease. We've had a few, <laughs> Tom, which are right. Well, we have, but this yeah, amount. Well, I see that. That's yeah. a good amount. So. But, but, this, okay. but this is an example of, you know, um, a, a, a good um, team mm -hmm. collaboration between, yeah. you know, working with our various vendors, Scott, LaBerge Group, uh, and, and, mm -hmm. and us uh, in the committees and stuff like that. So uh, kudos to everybody mm -hmm. that's been involved in this one. So, uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Resolution does carry. Okay. At this time, the town board uh, is calling a public hearing this evening. This meeting was called to order at 6 p.m. by the presiding officer at Town Hall at Baker Road. Uh, further notice is hereby given to the town board. The town of Plattsburgh will meet and hold public hearings there at the town hall located at the Baker Road in the town of Plattsburgh, Clinton County. New York on Thursday at 6.05 p.m. prevailing time in relationship to propose to local law number two of 2022 at local law imposing a 12 month moratorium uh, moratorium on applications for self storage and mini storage units. Uh, tonight we will be accepting written comments from the record and also providing an opportunity to receive um, uh, comments from the floor. Is there a motion to open the public hearing? Mm -hmm. We'll give it wood and then Isabella. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, can I get a roll call, please? Thomas Wood? Yes. Barbara Gebert? Yes. Charles Costick? Yes. Dana Isabella? Yes. Michael Cashman? Yes. Uh, we will officially open the public hearing at 6.06 .06, uh, p.m. Um, at this time, I would ask the clerk, uh, have you received any written comments to be uh, placed in the record? We have not. Uh, my office has not received any uh, items to be placed okay. in the record. Is there anyone seeking the floor? <coughs> Seeing no one seeking the floor, we'll keep this open for just a moment longer. Uh, the next resolution is tethered to uh, this public hearing, uh, so we will advance to resolution 239, which is setting a public hearing for local law number three of 2022, a law, a local law providing for the administration and enforcement of the New York State Uniform Fire Prevention and Building Code. Whereas proposed local law number three of 2022 would provide a local law provided for the administration and enforcement of the New York State Uniform Fire Prevention and Building Code. And whereas due consideration has been given to the adoption of proposed law number three of 2022 by all members of the town board who were present. And whereas it was considered opinion of all members of the town board who were present that a public hearing should be held on the first day of December 2022 at 6.05 p.m. Plattsburgh Town Hall, 151 Banker Road, Plattsburgh, New York, to consider the adoption of proposed local law number three, 2022. Now, a motion duly made and seconded, which resolved that a public hearing be held first day of December 2022 at 6.05 p.m. at Plattsburgh Town Hall, Banker Road, Plattsburgh, New York, on the question of the enactment of proposed local law number three, 2022, and be further resolved that the notice of hearing on proposed law number three, 2022, shall be published in the press republican that less than five days prior to that hearing. We have further resolved that pursuant to part 617 of the implementing regulations to Article 8, State Environmental Quality Review Act, the Town of Plattsburgh Town Board shall determine whether adoption of the proposal of the law would have a significant effect upon the environment. Should that statement be in there? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Resolved that the town clerk shall post that notice on the bulletin board maintained by the town clerk pursuant to town law 30, section 6, <coughs> and on the town of Town Plattsburgh's website. For a period not less than five days prior to that public hearing. Is there a motion? So moved. Hebert, is there a second? Second. Austin, any discussion? Again, this is just setting a public hearing. I'll take a roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Robert Hebert? Yes. Charles Costick? Yes. David Isabella? Yes. Michael Cashman? Yes, resolution does vary. Uh, we will go back to the public hearing. Again, uh, tonight, uh, the town board of the town of Plattsburgh has met uh, to hold a public hearing as it relates to the uh, local law number two of 2022, a local law imposing a 12 month moratorium on applications for self storage and mini uh, storage units. Uh, not having received any written comments to the record, I'll ask again is there anyone seeking the floor? Is 
Are anyone seeking the floor? Is anyone seeking the floor? Seeing no one in attendance and not having received anything written, uh, is there a motion to close uh, the public hearing? So moved. Isabella? Is there a second? Second. Heber, is there any discussion? So it's just like it might not have to be a whole year. Correct. Mm -hmm. It could be less if we're able to get the materials together. Correct. Uh, seeing nothing further, uh, can I get a roll call to close the public hearing? Thomas Wood? Yes. Robert Heber? Yes. Charles Kostick? Yes. Dana Isabella? Yes. And Michael Cashman? Uh, yes. The public hearing will officially close at 6 10 p.m. Uh, we will go back to resolution 238, uh, which is a resolution authorizing the adoption of the town board of the town of Plattsburgh of local law number two of 2022, imposing 12 month moratorium on applications for self-storage and mini-storage units. Whereas a resolution was duly adopted by the Town Board of the Town of Blasford for a public hearing to be held by said governing body on November 17th of 2022 at 6.05 p.m. at the Town of Plattsburgh on 51 Baker Road, Plattsburgh, New York. To hear all interested parties on proposed local law entitled Local Law Number 2 of 2022 imposing a 12 month moratorium on applications for self-storage and mini-storage units. And whereas notice of said public hearing is duly advertised in the press republic and the official newspaper of said town on November 9th of 2022. And whereas said public hearing was duly held on November 17th at 6.05 p.m. at Baker Road, Passport, New York. And all parties in attendance were permitted an opportunity to speak on behalf of or in opposition to said proposal of the law or in part thereof. And whereas pursuant to part 617 of the implementing regulations pertaining to Article 8 of the Environmental Quality Review Act, it is determined that the town board of the town of Plattsburgh, that this is a type two action and no further review will be and could be processed by other applicable governmental agencies without further regard to CEPRA. And whereas the town board of the town of Plattsburgh, after due deliberation, due deliberation, finds it in the best interest of said town to adopt said local law. Therefore be resolved that the town board of the town of Plattsburgh hereby adopts said local law number two of 2022 entitled the local law imposing a 12 month moratorium of applications for self-storage and mini storage units, copy of which is attached here to and made a part of this resolution. To be further resolved that the town clerk be and hereby is directed to enter said local law in the minutes of this meeting and the local law book of the town of Plattsburgh. And to give due notice of the adoption of local law to the Secretary of State of New York. Is there a motion? So moved. Isabella? Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? I just, you know, I want to thank Trevor. I, you know, I had to sit down with Trevor to have a discussion about it because, frankly, I did have some concerns uh, because I feel there is a demand for this type of business. But I think the way that the local law is crafted and the thoughtfulness that was put into that, into the local law, I think, yeah, certainly gives the opportunity to progress for those that are ready or in the business and, and are able right. to. So. Um, you know, and after sharing that information with uh, Trevor, I feel comfortable with it. So I do want to thank everybody that was involved with it. I think it's very thoughtfully done. Anything further? Seeing none, can I get a roll call, please? Thomas Wood? Yes. Robert Hebert? Yes. Charles Kostick? Yes. Dana Isabella? Yeah. Michael Cashman? Yes. Resolution was carrying will be filed. Thank you. Uh, I know of no uh, need for a executive session, uh, I do want to just take one moment uh, to acknowledge an event that will be taking place next week mm -hmm. um, at 11 a.m. at May Courier Park. We will be doing a rededication. Um, and what is exciting about that is the new playground equipment uh, has been installed uh, and um, the family is planning on being in attendance. They're very excited. We're very excited too to get that uh, space uh, back and fully operational. Um, but I just want to cover the waterfront here for folks that may be watching at home uh, and may not catch on to this. Is um, some time ago we put together a recreation advisory committee that was used as an element to vet out uh, new investments in our park. Uh, we heard directly from the community. And each of our parks is undergoing kind of a revitalization or, or reinvestment. And though that space has different type of playground equipment now, um, that was that was done very purposely uh, because the world of recreation is changing. 
uh, and the idea is that you could go to Katyville and find some new type of playground equipment or uh, meet Courier or go over to Cumberland Head, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I think this is just uh, good evidence <coughs> of um, you know, what the, the council has been adopting as good policy because we're getting this message not only from our team uh, in the recreation world, but also our community members. This is a great example of an advisory committee that maybe doesn't get as much attention. Um, it's like our finance committee or, or, or you know, some of our other committees. A lot of people see a ZBA or planning committee, but this rec committee has been really great. I think we have some exciting things to come. So hope that you folks can join. I know it's at a different time. I know it's the week of Thanksgiving, but we were hoping to get it before the snow flies. <laughs> <Yeah, that's laughs> uh, okay. But you know, uh, nonetheless, yeah, uh, I think what time was it again? Uh, so Eleven o'clock on Monday. On Monday. Yeah. Yeah. I'll send out an email, but uh, yeah. just want to remind people. So. Uh, with nothing further, uh, I would seek a motion to adjourn tonight's meeting. So moved. Costa, is there a second? Second. Isabella, any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, favor please say aye. 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 We will adjourn tonight at 6 15. Drive safe, everyone. Can I just mention to all of you, Sunday is the Transgender Day of Remembrance, so Tidor, mm -hmm. the Adirondack North Country Gender Alliance.